What's going on, everybody? Loom here, and today I got a battle against Joey Fontaine. It your boy Joey. Uh, he's packing a pretty fucking scary team of Greninja, Torn, T, Ferrothorn, Tapu Koko, Gastro, and Charizard X. And I got my team of Dusknoir, Ursaring, Reuniclus, Exeggutor, Alola, Camerupt, and Toxpex. This is a Trick Room team. As you can see, because all the mons have literally under 50 speed. And the Toxifex is actually offensive, which is pretty fun. So let's just get right into the battle, and that's all. So here my opponent decides to lead off the Greninja. As I lead the Dusknoir, because I always know that I can beat any lead on his team and be able to memento into Trick Room when I finish off. So here he goes for the spikes. Very smart play on his part. Greninja is a very solid lead because it knows U turn. You could U turn now and go into something else that has more momentum over Dusknoir. And here I just go for the Trick Room and go for memento so I could easily get out my one of my mods. Here I decide to bring an Ursa Ring, and I get up my free SD, because he's locking the spikes due to being Choice Scarf. Take my burn damage here. So here he decides to go into Ferrothorn, but no, 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 that is that is not a switch in, sir. That is not something you switch into a plus two Guts Ursa Ring. So that takes about 90%, man. Earthstring is fucking crazy strong, man. 130 attack with a burn guts boosted facade. That's a lot of fucking damage. Anyway, here he goes for power up, getting a lot of decent chip off me, and I lose one fourth of my health due to being hit with iron barbs and the burn damage, but I somehow live on 5 HP. So here he goes out to Coco. Probably trying to gain momentum with a Volt Switch because I believe my Trick Room runs out this turn. It does run out. So he goes for the HP Ice being locked into it, which is very unfortunate for him. So I go into my Reuniclus, taking advantage of his disposition right now and going for the Trick Room. He goes out to his Charizard X. But still, Reuniclus is very, very bulky, physically and specially, with its massive HP stat. So I'm going to be able to live any move this thing wants to go for, be it Fair Blitz, Dragon Claw, anything. So I just go for the Psychic here, and that does a really decent amount of damage from the Uraniclus, being about 90%. So he goes for the Dragon Claw, it does a lot of damage to Uraniclus, and being all out lacking recover, that's not good. I go for the Shadow Ball here, predicting a switch, and he goes out to the Gren, so. Then he goes out to Zardex again, I'm not gonna take any chances here. But I missed the Focus Blast anyway because I predicted a Pharaoh Swap. So I go for Shadow Ball again because I know he's going to probably go out to Gren or just stay in to sack this. So then he does sack it. So then he goes out to Coco. Coco is a really strong thing against my team because it kills like 3 out of 6 ones. So I go out to Maui predicting a Volt Switch or a Thunderbolt, either one. He withdraws the top of Coco and goes out to Gastrodon. I can do virtually nothing to this. Earth Power doesn't even do that much damage. I think it does like 30% because Gastro is so specially strong, it's crazy. So here I go for the Fire Blast. Does nothing. It's literally joke damage. So I withdraw and go out to my Exeggutor. Exeggutor is really good versus Steam too because he has like one switch into my Z move because he lacks like a solid dragon resist. So anyway, he goes for the earth power here. I predict that going into my Exeggutor and he goes up to Torn T here. I get to take advantage of that and go for the Trick Room because that can do nothing to me but Toxic me. And Toxic is very bad in the long run, but that's whatever. So here I go for the Z move, the Devastating Drake, being able to one hit KO this Tornadus with that insane att special attack set that Exeggutor has on his, under his belt. So here, that is a clean one-hit KO on the Tornadus. Giving me a lot of momentum because he can't defog, he can't do anything. And you'll see how I take advantage of that earlier. I mean, later, my bad. I'm very tired right now, it's like 3 a.m. So I withdraw here and go out to Maui. He goes for the Hidden Power Ice. It does a decent amount of damage, not a lot though. I take advantage of that, go for the Earth Power. Well, you know, I, yeah, I go for the Earth Power. I thought I went for rocks here. So, yeah, I go for the Earth Power. 
goes into gastro and knowing this is gonna die I just go for rocks trying to get as much damage as I can because I need it he goes for toxic for some reason I have no switch into skull I don't know why he did that so here I just take poison damage and here I go for the no wait trick him right now shit so he goes for skull killing off my uh, camera up he gains HP with the leftovers. I go out to my executor again because he can do nothing to it. He goes for the toxic here. I go for the trick room. And now I go for Giga Drain here. The battle is basically over at this point. He has nothing he could do to my tox specs. And he could kill the executor, but he has nothing else for tox specs and unit So here I go for Giga Drain. Getting all my health back, basically all of it. And then this dies. So here he goes to Coco because he has nothing else. And he kills me with HP Ice this turn, but it doesn't matter because I still have the victory in the bag and we have a trick room up. But yeah. He goes for Gig I go for Giga Drain here. And he goes for the Hidden Power Ice. That's gonna fucking just send me to the next dimension. Holy shit. Anyways, I go out to Toxifex here. He knows it's over, so he just forfeits. It was a good game, Joey. I hope to battle sometime again. And, you know, if you like the content, subscribe. It really helps me. I, even though I don't make money off this, I don't know why it's saying it helps. But thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks.